Good evening, humans. Transformers Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Transformers Ultimates Grimlock figure from Super 7. It should come as a surprise to literally no one watching this that Grimlock has always been my favorite Transformer. So the question is, does this figure live up to the legacy of Grimlock? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks fabulous, and obviously this is based off the uh, G1 cartoon era of Transformers, and that's totally cool because that's pretty much Super 7's thing for a lot of these lines, as they, they kind of lean into that old 80s, the, the old 80s cartoons, and uh, they they absolutely nail it, and that's pretty awesome. Like, I mean, it's, it's a very basic look, obviously, because of the way the animation was done at the time, but like, I mean, they, they nailed it. And it's really cool to have that because I don't think we've really ever gotten that. And, uh, you know, let me try to focus a little bit more here. But, uh, you know, we get that really nice flat gray for most of it. The uh, torso is pretty much shiny just because of the different style of plastic. But uh, I definitely think the matte gray totally hits. That's that's a great look. Uh, we get some matte yellows going on here in the feet and the uh, abdomen. So uh, very cool there. And then, you know, the, that head sculpt is very, very basic, but that's how it looked in the cartoon. But uh, a nice touch I thought here was actually inside the mouth. We do get the laser in there. And uh, yeah, that's just really nice touch. It definitely pops when you have the mouth open. So very cool there. We come to the back. We do have the blue, gray, or blue, white, red, and green here on the back. Uh, so some nice paneling going on. And uh, you know, I mean, it's Grimlock's a chunky boy. <laughs> They totally got that across. Those reds totally pop out here because you know they're they're, they're used sparingly, but they totally work. And uh, yeah, just a very very accurate representation of uh, cartoon Grimlock. So absolutely love it. We get an insane amount of accessories, and this is really where Super Seven shines with these Ultimate lines. So let's jump right in. And uh, for hands, right out of the box, we just kind of get our standard, somewhat relaxed Grimlock hands. The three fingers there. Then we get a couple of splayed out hands. And then finally, a pair of gripping hands. And these are all very well done. Uh, no paint on them at all. But then we get a couple pieces of headwear. So we get a crown for King Grimlock. Just absolutely beautiful. Very, very simple. That same yellow we see in the body. Uh, but very well done, just kind of sits on the head. And as you can see, there is a very specific space for it. So that is nice. Then we get the mind transfer helmet, also very beautifully done, sits on the head very, very nicely. Uh, and again, just that, you know, kind of flat light gray and a little bit of the yellow, you can see the details in there. I think this is supposed to turn around, but mine is definitely kind of stuck. And uh, that usually has to do with some paint application. Uh, so I'm not really bothering with that at the moment, but I do think this rotates. So there is that. Oh, and then he gets some nice metallic, like kind of gunmetal silver here at the other end. Uh, if I can get that to focus. <laughs> Pardon me with the, uh, the way my setup is here. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. There we go. So you get that. And then finally, or not finally, but penultimately, we move into the fancy stuff. So we do get a tray, and this is just a very simple light gray platter. And uh, unfortunately, mine does have some paint scuffs on it. I don't know where that came from. That is actually, that is not my nail polish. Uh, that is, that was there when I took it out of the package. So I don't know what that is. I'm gonna try and see if I can take that off. Uh, actually, I, with some nail polish remover. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And then we get a six piece set of glassware, which is amazing. So we get these nice translucent purple tumblers. We get a couple of pieces of stemware. Then we get this almost like goblet style piece of stemware, kind of martini glass look. And then finally, we get this blue kind of snifter sort of looking piece. Very, very nice. Again, love the translucency in that plastic. Then we get a apron, absolutely beautifully done. Uh, I, when I saw pictures of this, I was like, oh, that looks like it's gonna be kind of light and chintzy and cheap. But uh, no, it's actually relatively good weight material. Uh, you can see we got the bow here. We actually have a functional pocket here in the front and uh, everything else is Velcro. So easy enough to get on the figure when you need to. So that's excellent. And then finally, uh, no, not finally, <laughs> almost finally. Again, so many accessories here. We do get a fish and the fish is just in this nice light blue and this green 
great details going on. Again, just very much matches the aesthetic of the figure in the cartoon. God, the focus just not working tonight. I apologize, y'all. Uh, so there's that. And then finally, we get Wheelie. And that's really, really cool. Um, you know, almost a figure onto his own right. Uh, with that nice bright orange, we see the Autobot signal, uh, symbol, pardon me. We get that gunmetal gray coming back. And he is articulated a little bit, so we get the legs. We get the arms coming around. We get the head rotating and the hands rotate as well. So not a full on figure. Oh, and the arms are kind of actually on ball joints. So they get, they get a little more movement, but uh, you know, not full on figure, but definitely kind of cool. And that just fits on Grimlock's back. So that's accessories. Articulation here is very, very nice. And honestly, Super 7 has been killing it with the, certainly the, the odd shaped robots lately. <laughs> and uh, That's really cool to see. Uh, I do have Grimlock here in a standing kick. However, he's not freestanding. I'm definitely using the tail as a prop there, but uh, you know, still kind of a, a goofy pose and kind of shows the, the range we got here. So let's break everything down. Uh, so for our head, we are on a ball joint, so we can come all the way around. Very, very nice. Lots of look up. So I'm pretty much just neutral after that, um, but we do get beautiful tilt as well. Uh, then we get Obviously that opening jaw, which we showed in aesthetics. So very, very cool. It's about as wide as that opens. Uh, then we come to the neck and the neck is kind of the ball hinge. So you can see we can kind of come down a little bit and that's how we're gonna get our look down. Uh, then we come back into neutral and that also rotates. Then we come to the diaphragm. The diaphragm also rotates, that's about it. So that's very, very nice. That gives us some extra range. Come to the arms. Uh, so we're hinge and swivel. We can come into a T. Uh, we rotate there as well. We are single jointed at the elbows, coming to about 90, also rotation. Then our wrists are hinge and swivel, all horizontal. Then we come down to the hips and uh, we do get a little bit of out, uh, but almost as much as we got with the T-Rex sword, which is kind of nice. So we got a little bit there, pardon me hitting my camera there. Uh, in rotation, we can come all the way around. Um, so yeah, we can get really ridiculous with this. I like that. <laughs> Come down to the knees and uh, you can see we are on a hinge, single hinge. So we're coming pretty much about there. So we can fully straighten out and then we can bend about there. Not even 90, but it is there. We do have a swivel at the, I guess it'd be the calf. <laughs> we come down to the feet. Uh, we are on a couple of hinges, so we can kind of make some nice heels going on there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a uh, swivel hinge swivel, but you don't really, there's no room in there. So that doesn't actually move really anywhere except up and down. Uh, then we come to the tail and the tail is also on that swivel hinge swivel. So we actually get a little bit of rotation there. Uh, you can kind of see that going around. So some really nice range. And then we get the same thing at this last piece of the tail. So we're going around there as well. So uh, not a ton of range, but definitely more than I would expect. And uh, yeah, so that bring, that finishes up articulation. Getting the size comparisons here, he is with a couple other Super 7 Ultimates in the forms of the MMPR Tyrannosaur Zord and a uh, TMNT Leo. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Transformers Ultimates Grimlock figure from Super 7 is that I love this figure. It's a ton of fun. And honestly, Super 7 truly shines when they just lean into the absolute absurdity, especially when dealing with some of these like 80s cartoon properties. Just again, Grimlock's a perfect character for that just because there's been so many ridiculous moments with him. And this just totally goes with that. I mean, honestly, the promo pictures with this, with the, the apron and the the tray and all that, I was just sold. <laughs> sold more than I would be anyway, because I mean, it's Grimlock, I'm, I'm going to get it. Robot Dinosaur just sold. And uh, <laughs> yeah, de de absolutely recommend it if you are a fan of Grimlock, if you are a fan of that original cartoon from the 80s. Uh, if you just want an absurd di like Tyrannosaur robot with weird accessories, like this totally hits. I, I love it, I can't recommend it enough. 
this is definitely a like kind of knock it out of the park situation, I think, for Super 7. So uh, in terms of availability, it is showing up various places online, uh, not limited to Entertainment Earth, of whom I happen to be an affiliate. So uh, it is in stock right now. And if you happen to use this uh, code or the link in my description, and this is a, this is still in stock, then you will get 10% off the total price. Um, and if your total order is over currently $79, then you will get free shipping. So uh, definitely things worth considering if you, this is something you're looking at. And uh, that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, I hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So come on back, let's have some fun. Let's just talk about toys. And uh, ultimately, I just hope you're well. I hope that all, all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.